Hello everybody, today we're here at Universal Orlando Resort. I am gonna bring you along for a Universal holiday tour. Universal's offering these tours on select nights. They start at $70 and they're basically a VIP tour with saved seats for shows and all sorts of special things. I'm gonna show you what it's like and bring you along for all the holiday fun. We're gonna get to see Grinchmas and so much more. Get ready, because it's gonna be a hula day night. Okay, because the Who's and the Grinch. Let's go. And we're in. It's a gorgeous day. Because this tour starts at 5 p.m. and goes until after park close and does not include dinner, although it does include treats, we're actually gonna stop at Today Cafe to eat, which I recommend you do too if you're gonna do this tour. They've also got some really pretty holiday treats here. What I like about Today Cafe is that they have slightly healthier options like sandwiches and salads, and I also really like their potato salad, so that's coming up. I got the Big Apple grilled cheese. I've never had this here, but it's a grilled cheese with like apple in it and then their potato salad, and Sam got a really nice looking salad. Cow and chicken. Yummy. Okay, now we're fed, and that's the best way to start this tour. It is several hours long, so you're gonna definitely wanna start out with a full stomach. About an hour and a half before the parade, Shrek and Fiona and other of their characters are out meeting guests. Guests are lining up to meet them. They are gonna be in the parade too. What a gorgeous afternoon it's turning into. It was raining earlier. I do wanna say that it is the Monday of the week of Thanksgiving and definitely Thanksgiving crowds are out. It's not that bad, but there are just a lot of people everywhere. All the parks are crowded. Thanksgiving week is one of the most crowded of the year, but it's still very manageable here. Also. I want to say Universal did invite us out today for this holiday tour and as much as I love the holidays at Universal and I've done all of the activities except a few of the special ones that are tour only individually I've never done a holiday tour here and I've always wanted to so I'm really excited and I know a lot of people including myself have questions about like what do you get what does it come with and all of that so I'm excited to do it and be able to share it so that you can see if it's something that you'd be interested in or just Come along for the fun. Doc's out greeting guests too. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Everybody seems to be in good spirits, even with the holiday crowds, and it's a really great day here so far. Bumblebee's out greeting guests. Here in front of the stage, there's a blocked off area for all of the VIP tours for parade viewing. And that's where we start. They've also transformed this food truck into a sausage and bratwurst, choripan, other sausages, food truck, which is really nice. But right now it's behind this rope, so I'm not sure if it's just for the tours or if it'll be open for everyone. And it looks like I found the spot where we're gonna check in. One thing to note is that there are many tours going on at any given time, and this space is reserved for all of the tours going on on any given night. They all share this space, so getting here early is still a good idea. Right now it's 4.30. The stage is all set up with snowflakes. It looks so pretty. I know that Mannheim Steamroller is returning this year, but it looks like just four select dates, December 4th, 5th, 11th, and 12th. And while we're in line, they just handed us this card, and they said to put down questions. We're gonna have a special holiday Q&A with the Who's from Whoville and they may select your question so we'll try to think of something. We are so lucky because we have Katie again and she was our VIP tour guide for the first night of Halloween Horror Nights if you saw that video. Super awesome, super passionate about the parks. I'm so excited to do this holiday tour with you, Katie. Yeah, I can't wait for the back of my head to be on more YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> cool, well, we'll see the back of her head. Thanks, Katie. Another opportunity to get food is that sausage truck that I showed you earlier. So it's like half in this area and also guests can, outside of the tour area, can also eat there. Tour guests are still in line getting checked in. We got checked in, we got assigned to our tour guide. Then you just kind of chill, grab a spot wherever you want and just wait for the parade. And then after the parade, we're gonna do like who stuff, Grinchmas stuff. There's a whole itinerary. And we're gonna end in Hogsmeade with the light, the holiday lights on Hogwarts Castle. And there's gonna be some surprises along the way too. This whole area is blocked off so you can choose where you wanna be. And there's even space all the way around the other side. Fun fact, this is the second year of Universal doing these holiday nights. And tonight's the second night of this year's holiday tours. Cool, we've got a marching band, a little pre-parade fun. Parade 
video of the first night of the parade. So if you want to see the whole thing, check that video out tonight. I'll show you some snippets because we have a big night and a lot to do. And the parade has begun. I always talk about how one of my favorite things to look at are the balloon crews pulling the balloons. They're so focused, so coordinated, and it's just cool to see like how large the balloons are in comparison to them. One of my favorite floats. Night has fallen. It happens very quickly since it's around 5.30 this time of year. So it's time to light up the lights and get all festive. The parade's going by. It's nice to have an area where you can walk around. Because even though I prefer the New York viewing area, you have got to stay in your spot. We were in our spot for an hour and a half that opening night to hold our spot. So it's nice to be able to like just move around in this area. In the background, I went. <laughs> this is going to be the best Christmas ever. Oh, come here, you. occasions and for events like this. We actually get to go into the Blue Man Group Theater for this show, which is really cool. That's where Grinchmas is happening this year. All right, we're being seated. It looks like a full house. The stage looks so beautiful. This is a different theater than it's been held in in past years, and it looks better than ever. Every hoodoo from their 12 toes to their snout, they love Christmas the most without a single blue doubt. It could be perhaps that his shoes were two times. Ow. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Bah bah! exclaimed the Grinch, staring down from his cave with a sour Grinchy crowd at the warm lighted windows below in their town. Oh, you see, Cindy Lou, the Grinch isn't a who, he's more of a, a what? Exactly. <laughs> in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat, and he chuckled and clucked. What a great Grinchy trick! With his coat and his hat, I look just like St. Nick. No, I'm speaking in rhyme. <laughs> Tree. That 
Hold you my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there. And I'll bring it back here. I'm rhyming again. Uh, the Grinch. I know he hates Christmas and he's green with bad breath and smelly feet with shoes that are two sizes too small. Ow. But just because he's different, that doesn't mean he shouldn't get a present on Christmas. Good night. You kid. Bad judge of character! <laughs> it started in loan, then it started to grow. But this sound wasn't sad. Why, why the sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so. But it was merry. Very. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came somehow other, it came just the same. And the Grinch. With his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without talent. It came without packs. It's fucked. It's all bad. And he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe. Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. That the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. No, no. Oh, help me! Help me! Max! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Well, that literally translates to welcome Christmas, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a movie and we learned it. Oh, so you're just translating it. Dad's not lost with 
show is great it's really funny really cute if you've seen it before you know it's just wonderful and the Grinch is amazing hilarious the whole cast is but that extra half hour with the four who's was hilarious I cannot praise them enough for how good they are how funny they are how just it was hilarious and now our tour guide is telling us about this building that was the Blue Man Group and before that the Nickelodeon building. We just went on a little walk backstage, looked at some sound stages, talked about, you know, filming here, the back lot, the front lot, all the cool stuff that happens here. And now we're back in the park. Look at the tree! It's so pretty. So I talked about this in my last video, but just in case you didn't see it, they have a new lighting system on the tree this year. A cinematic celebration is going on in the background, so there are some fireworks. Sometimes maybe we'll catch some. my favorite spot to watch cinematic celebration during the holidays with the Christmas tree and the fireworks in the background it is so pretty and so festive obviously the best place to watch the show is on the lagoon in the show area but besides that to be over here by the tree just as the park is closing and see Yes. <laughs> now what's cool is the park is closed today, guys. There are still people mingling about, but they're going to be clearing out of the park, and we're going to have our run of the park after it's closed. Not just this park, but Islands of Adventure too. We're going back and forth. If you're in the New York area during the parade, 
They have confetti and snow, and it looks like some is flying out of the machine right now. And if you look here in the Macy's window, some of the parade balloons are here in a really, really beautiful display. And how cool is that? You can see like the painting scheme. And next up, we are going to meet Santa Claus in the VIP lounge in Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Upstairs where normally like hashtag is, we get to go up there. I've never been up there. And here we are. Also look at the moon, how beautiful. How cool is this to be up here? I've always wanted to come up here. Oh, here's the famous compass. Nice! Well, this is pretty cool, but there's more. But just being able to be up here is like, it is awesome. It's like waving to guests, but they're all gone. Few lingering guests left. Sam, wouldn't it be cool if we could watch Mannheim Steamroller from up here? I mean, this would be the perfect spot. This would be an amazing spot. And we are going in to see Santa soon, but like, just, just. We're lined up to see Santa up here, and I can hear him ho, ho, hoing all along. We did take stairs up, but they also have an elevator available, and look, they put out cute little decorations for the room. They also gave us a beautiful ornament, and that is definitely going straight on the tree. It's so pretty, it's like a snowflake. It's finally our turn, Santa! We've been waiting all year, really. And we've been good. Santa knows, my dear. Santa knows we've been good. Thank you. And they gave us a print of our photo with Santa. How cute is that? I love it. That was really cool. Another kind of surprise hit of the tour. Um, always meeting Santa is, I was about to say always and obviously at the same time. Obviously, always meeting Santa is always cool. It was worth the wait and it was really cool and then Santa gifts you an ornament for your tree and you get a printed photo with Santa as part of this. And you get to go up on that VIP lounge. That's pretty cool too. We're about to make our way over to Islands of Adventure to meet with the Grinch. And we're just soaking in the nearly empty park. Only fellow holiday tours are in the park right now. And up there on that balcony is where we were to go in to meet Santa. Pretty, pretty cool. And we walked between the parks and in one moment we are in Islands of Adventure and we're about to meet the Grinch. Well, the Grinch will be circulating around the room that we're in where we're getting unlimited hot cocoa and cookies and hopefully he'll come over and chat with us. We'll see. It just depends on what mood he's in. Now we're in Circus McGurkis and we're gonna get a table. There's the Grinch right there. I think we're gonna sit right on the edge here. <gasps> there he is. And here's the cookies and cocoa buffet. So I guess we just grab some cookies, okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's get one of these, right? This looks good. We got one of each, and then we're getting hot chocolate. You can get candy cane, marshmallow, chocolate. So we got candy cane and marshmallow. So the Grinch is walking around. I'm back at the table with our cookies. He, hopefully he comes to us. I think we get about half hour in here. I like the chocolate buttons on the snowman. Those are really good. Oh my god, oh my god, he's coming. He's coming. So the Grinch likes who hash. It's official. Part of your VIP experience, the hash remains with me. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a nice warm hot chocolate. You can get as much as you want. You can get as many cookies as you want. It looks like there's two varieties. I like the red Christmas tree better. Oh, I love it! Four eyes get on out of here. Oh. With a parting piece of Christmas tidings. It shall start a song for which means for all of you are the choir. Let's do it. Ah, everyone knows Silent Night? Yes? Yes. yes. Alright, can it? <laughs> Happy holidays, guys! I have made my head into a wall, and fall asleep. Bye. Okay. So you're not guaranteed that the Grinch is going to come to your specific table and interact with you. He kind of interacts with the whole room, and he does go to some tables. It's at his discretion. He's the Grinch, you know? So we saw him, like, walking around and whatever, and it's still really fun and cool. But just know, like, you could luck out, and he could, like, sit at your table. Or he could just kind of like walk around and chat with everyone, but you do get the whole cookies and hot chocolate and Grinch experience as part of the tour. Now we're exiting through Seuss Landing and we are heading into Hogsmeade in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We're heading into Lost Continent. I love the music in this land and seeing it all empty is such a treat, such a sight. Look, the water fountain coming, the waterfall's off. The walls around Poseidon are partially gone, and I've heard rumors that it may be reopening sometime soon, and as soon as it does, I will be there. I will be there. Such a cool thing, getting views of the park like this. Heading into Hogsmeade now. What a way to cap off a very special day. Hogsmeade really is beautiful at night. The cool thing right now is during the holiday tour, a few of the spots are open in Hogsmeade. Even though the park is closed, everything else in the park is closed. Hogshead Pub is open so you can get butter beer and real beer. And Honey Dukes is open so you can get candy and sweets. It looks like Owl Post is open too. So you can do some shopping. And then at 10.30, we're going to watch the show. I think I'm going to be right here next to the snowman. This is a unique view. One thing people may not notice is that he's got a snowman owl on his arm there. So, you know, very on theme. Christmas hats in front of us. 
One more tip for you, make sure to tip your tour guide. And good night, Islands of Adventure. It was an adventure of a day. Well, I hope you enjoyed going on the holiday tour with us today, and I hope that it helped you to see like what it was like, and just in case you were debating on doing this, or just to come along and enjoy and soak up the Universal Orlando vibes. The tour includes both parks, Universal Studios, and Islands of Adventure. It includes all the Christmas activities you can do, plus the extra things that only come with the tour, like meeting with Santa, the Q&A with the Who's, or the Who and A after Grinchmas, so like extra time in the Grinchmas Theater and getting to interact with the characters and listen to them, and like they are so hilarious. The cookies and hot cocoa with the Grinch, and the private viewing of the Magic of Christmas on Hogwarts Castle. It's long, we started at five, we're ending after 11. You also get a VIP tour guide who answers questions, tells you about the park, gives you fun facts like points out cool things as you're walking around you get to go backstage but you can't film backstage so I couldn't show you the backstage parts but you get to go backstage between the parks which is really cool you get to go upstairs and Jimmy Fallon there are a lot of cool things especially if you're a big fan of the park so again if this is something you were thinking about doing and you wanted to see what it was like I hope this was helpful to you and even if not I hope that you enjoyed just ah, the fun holiday universal vibes I love these parks I love the holidays at Universal. It is so much fun, it's so festive, and you can do so much holiday stuff that just comes with your normal day ticket here too, and it's just, ah, it's the best. And it was so fun wrapping up the day with all the tour guides singing Christmas songs. Like, how cute was that? It was just amazing. Tam, y'all are the best. Thank you for an amazing day. Thank you so much, Universal Orlando, for inviting me out tonight to experience all of this so that I could share it with all of you and get to do something I've never done before. By the way, I'm standing by the lighthouse right now. This is cool to just like be next to the lighthouse right now. But yeah, we are gonna head home. Thank you again, Universal Orlando Resort. Thank you to our tour guide. Thank you to all the tour guides who chatted with us tonight and were so amazing and made this a great experience for everybody. So with that, once again, I thank you all so much for joining me. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.